They're so pretty. Mm. So pretty. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. Give me, give me them good times, good times. Nothing, nothing but good vibes, good vibes. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. Good morning, you guys. So I just blended up a variation of green smoothie. So my whole pregnancy, I have not wanted to eat pineapple. And after doing some research, I did find that pineapple, due to the bromelain, which is an enzyme in pineapple, which has amazing healing benefits, it's great for inflammation. Anyways, I did read that the bromelain can induce labor. <laughs> So maybe there's a reason I was having pineapple aversions up until now. At this point, I am 37 weeks. By the time the video is posted, I'll be 38 weeks. Baby number three, third plant-based or vegan pregnancy. Things are going great. Having lots of warm-up or Braxton Hicks contractions. And I'm like, you know what? The pineapple is sounding really good again. And this green smoothie is a testament to that. It's so delicious. So usually I love to add like kale and collards and more of the like stronger tasting cruciferous greens. But today I added spinach, like just a ton of spinach. And then with the pineapple and mango and banana combo, it's so good. So I will definitely be adding this one to our Eat, Move, Rest meal planner and recipe app. It's part of our yearly Eat, Move, Rest club membership, which you can actually sign up at 75% off for life right now. So I will link that below in the description for you guys. There are tons of perks. It's been so much fun to grow our community there and get to connect with you guys on our live Zoom calls on a weekly basis. So I thought I was well overdue for a what I eat in a day pregnancy edition. These videos are applicable for anybody and everybody though, not just pregnant people. What is minerals? Minerals? Minerals just are things that our bodies need just like vitamins. Yeah. And energy. <laughs> Just wanted to also say thank you so much for all of your prayers and condolences and well wishes. After last week's video, um, my dad's dad passed away the day before Easter, and then we were hit with even more devastating news, unfortunately. Thankfully, I'm in a better emotional state at the shooting of this video because I've had a few days to process things, but I've literally, we've all been just a puddle of tears because my mom's dad passed away the day after Easter, and then two days later, Bo, who you all know and have loved over the years as we've grown our channel, passed away. Um, he was almost 10 and a half years old, and honestly, as a Bernese Mountain Dog, um, the average lifespan being six to eight years, that was a really solid run for him, but just kind of shocked us to wake up and find that he had passed in his sleep. We're hoping it was a peaceful, painless death, but it's just, it was very, very shocking to us. And I just feel like every time I walk past the place in the hallway where I woke up and found him, I just, I immediately like get teary again and just super sad. And Dusty and I got Bo um, a few months after we got married. So he's pretty much been with us for our entire relationship, growing a family, getting healthy together, getting active. And now it's like going for a walk or a jog without Bo just kind of almost feels like, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I feel like every walk we went on was was mostly to make him happy. So we're trying to allow ourselves the space to heal from our losses before we jump right into um, just replacing. You know, I don't want to feel like I'm replacing him. We've also talked about having two dogs. We would love to both adopt and get a puppy. So maybe an adult dog and a puppy, we'll see. But we really love the Bernese breed. It's just a, they're just such a phenomenal family dog. There are a lot of unknowns right now. We also mentioned in last week's video that we are planning on moving again. New babies, hopefully new puppies, new homes. <laughs> it's a lot, but we are here for it. We're ready for it. 
We cannot wait to take you guys along for the ride. We're just looking so forward to meeting baby number three, finding out if we're having a boy or girl. I haven't had any swelling of my feet or ankles. I don't feel like I've been waddling. No aches or pains to complain about. A few rough nights of sleep due to like some anxiety around giving birth, to be honest, but Overall, my sleep's been really solid. I have had some heartburn, which is no bueno, something I never experience outside of pregnancy, but just anatomically, it makes sense. I really, truly believe that like this anti-inflammatory, whole food, plant-based, high raw diet has really been um, a lifesaver. This is a really good smoothie today. And I still have Pineapple. pimple cream on my face. Maybe I'll do a facial for the hubs with my skincare. I'm open-minded. Who wants to see a hubby facial? <laughs> All right, you guys, so 30 minutes on the Peloton, 20 minutes strength. Callie Gullickson, I think she just had her baby, but she's one of the instructors that was pregnant, so it was nice to be able to do her workouts because I knew they would be pregnancy friendly. Whew, it was a fun one, full body strength, and it was a soundtrack theme, and it was the soundtrack from 10 Things I Hate About You. If you guys are 80s or 90s babies, you probably remember loving that movie. It was so good. 90s music is totally my jam. Now I'm gonna go wash my face, do a little skincare, and I will show you guys some specials that you will not wanna miss out on for Mother's Day. Usually after a workout, we do breakfast round two, where usually we'll have something oat-based. I'm gonna make a new version of our baked berry oats. Instead of berry, I'm gonna do like a chocolate peanut butter. It's gonna be so good. I might even put some dates in there. Then after breakfast, we did a little homeschool education on the solar eclipse, and I will say I was a little apprehensive about letting the kids stare at the sun, but we made it through unscathed. <laughs> For lunch, I chopped some bell peppers, cherry tomatoes, and spinach, and made a tofu scramble. I always add turmeric for color, nutritional yeast, salt and pepper, and then finally add in the greens at the very end. I also added in some leftover quinoa to boost the nutrition and topped it with some sriracha and some local sauerkraut. The kids are obsessed with this just like I am. You can find the full recipe for our tofu scramble in our Eat Move Rest meal planner and recipe app. So if you guys have been around here for a while, then you know clean beauty and skincare, personal care products in general, are a big must have on my health and wellness checklist. A long standing favorite of mine, as you all might know, is Osea Malibu. So I love their seaweed based skincare. They are a mother daughter, female founded and owned company. They are climate neutral, they are ocean positive and ocean friendly. If you want to keep your skincare simple but still get the most bang for your buck, it's super important to follow these steps in this order cleanse, tone, and then treat. You can do some spot treating and then moisturize. Then you can do makeup or leave your skin fresh as is. Alrighty, so we've got heatless curls, clean skin care, natural looking makeup, something that is a non-negotiable in my day-to-day -day routine because it makes me feel so good and it gives me just a few minutes to listen to a podcast or an audiobook and get my mind right for the day. As a mom myself of two, almost three, I truly, truly feel like self-care cannot be underestimated. It does wonders for your mood, your confidence, emotional well-being. It just helps you to show up better for everybody else. And I don't wanna sound like a broken record because I know we hear this a lot nowadays, but it is truly not selfish. And I hear all too often moms who are like, but how do you have time to work out with two kids? Or how do you have time to do skincare and makeup? I don't even have time to make a healthy meal. We always tend to use our kids as the excuse 
But what we don't realize is when we use them as the excuse for why we can't do X, Y, or Z, have our own business, take care of our skin, take care of our fitness, we are actually projecting resentment onto them. Rather than focusing on what I can't do because of them, I need to focus on what I can do for me. So really, really focus on the language you're using, the mindset you have around being a mom. And think about your mom growing up. What was she doing that you saw that you admired? What was she doing that you could possibly improve upon to flip the script for your family moving forward? Both of our moms are going to be coming down to Florida to help out once baby arrives. We're gonna kind of stagger their visits, first my mom and then Dusty's mom. And the one thing I always gift them with to send them home with is Osea Malibu. And Mother's Day is right around the corner and they have two really beautiful and amazing gift sets that contain some of my absolute favorite products. So yes, I've been very, very focused on skincare lately and I think we always focus a lot on facial skincare, but I've also been doing a lot more body care just because I've been wanting to really help improve circulation and the varicose veins during pregnancy and cellulite and things like that and helping to prevent stretch marks. So I've been doing a ton of dry brushing. So I'm really, really loving this Golden Glow body set. So this is the perfect one for overall body care that contains some of my absolute go-tos from Osea. First, you wanna do the dry brushing to stimulate that lymphatic circulation as well as blood circulation, blood flow, and to help slough off dead skin that's just kind of sitting on top of the skin. I like to dry brush almost every evening before I shower and then the Andaria Cleansing Body Polish is just going to further freshen up your skin and allow it to receive the product you're putting onto it. The Andaria Algae Body Oil is what you finish with. I always put it on before I towel dry after I shower. It smells wonderful. It's so amazing. We even use it for the kids and Dusty loves it too. So I also grabbed the Glow and Go Facial Set. The thing I love about this one is it's not just product, it's also another tool you can use, like the dry brush. So this contains a gua sha. This will really help to sculpt your face. Again, it helps with circulation and blood flow and just plumping the skin. So this is a really great set. I've been really focused on like skincare tools besides just creams and serums. So you have to really be able to use the two and they work synergistically together, both those tools and the actual skincare product. So I've also been a huge fan of the Ocean Cleanser for quite some time. It's a nice gentle cleanser that doesn't leave you feeling dry. And then the Day Glow Facial Oil is the perfect one to apply before you do the Gua Sha. Keep in mind, these are limited edition gift sets. You are getting an incredible value when you buy the products as a set. And on top of that, you can also use my discount code EMR10 for 10% off or Eat Move Rest 10 for 10% off. EMR10 is brand new, so if you had used the previous code already, you can try out this brand new one to still save on your gift sets. So be sure to grab them while they're available. So I am ending the night with leftovers. We've got quinoa with green curry on top. This curry is in the meal planner and recipe app. The new oat bake will be in there. The new green smoothie will be in there. The scramble is already in there, so definitely go check it out if you haven't already. Join the Eat Move Rest Club. You can get 75% off the yearly membership for life. Be sure to grab your Mother's Day Osea gift sets. You can use EMR10 or Eat Move Rest 10 for 10% off. These are limited edition and they are a great value, so be sure to grab them while you can. Treat yourself, treat your mama bear. Until next time, Eat Move Rest your best. Bye guys. Yeah, what's it called about? Florida. Oh, Florida. Not flowers. What do we got? Chocolate. <laughs> this is the one thing that makes everybody focus. If I want to get anyone's attention or get anyone to pick something up, chocolate. I have my chocolate all in the kit.